ZipRecruiter's Q2 revenue was $240 million, which is a 31% increase versus Q2 last year and 2.24% above what Wall Street analysts expected. However, management commented that in the last week of June and continuing through July into August, they did observe employers pulling back on job listings. As a result of this weakening labor market, management lowered the full year 2022 guidance by 2.73%. As a result, the stock is trading down. Now, like revenue, earnings also came in above expectations in Q2. Non-GAAP earnings beat Wall Street estimates by 17.55%. Unlike revenue, however, management actually raised full-year earnings guidance by over 14%. The company plans to achieve this by pulling back on marketing and other expenses, which seems reasonable given that they already have over 70% brand recognition with both U.S. employers and job seekers. Throughout the earnings call and the Q&A session, ZipRecruiter's management emphasized several times how they take an ROI-based approach to capital allocation decisions, including marketing spend, and how they are committed to staying profitable in any recession by controlling their expenses. I like this attitude. Recruiting is not a trillion-dollar market, nor even a hundred billion-dollar market in the U.S. Competitor company Recruit Holdings, which owns both Indeed and Glassdoor, generated less than $17 billion in total revenue last year. That means ZipRecruiter's growth prospects are realistically somewhat limited. The company might 10x from here, but it probably won't 100x its revenue unless it expands into an entirely different HR vertical. That limitation on growth means controlling expenses becomes critical to generating returns for shareholders. Price to free cash flow ratio is about 64.